Good morning, everyone. First, I want to take a moment to congratulate President, President Donald Trump on his historic win in Iowa, earning more votes than all the other candidates combined. The people of Iowa spoke loudly and clearly, echoing the sentiment felt throughout the rest of the country. America is rallying in support of President Trump to save America and fire Joe Biden. House Republicans will continue to hold Hunter Biden's feet to the fire until we have his testimony. We have zero tolerance for his antics. He is a material witness in our inquiry. And sitting down in a formal deposition setting where all of our questions can be asked and answered is an important step in the fact-finding process. Hearing that there's a lot of people who are upset that you agreed to the top line, agreed to a CR when you said you weren't going to... I wanted uh, no more uh, CRs until we could move this process forward. We've, we've achieved that. We... Uh, forged forward. We got the top line agreement. And in spite of what people are saying on both sides, this is a better agreement than we had. This is an important thing for us because it allows us to fight for our policy changes, our policy writers in those spending bills. And it takes time to do that. And so the reason we need just a little bit more time on the calendar is to allow that process to play out. I do hope that we have 12 separate appropriations bills. I believe there's time to get that done. Um, we'll see how this develops. I mean, Certainly, we're not going to have an omnibus, and that was a very important innovation for us to forge forward because it's no way to run a railroad. Everybody's made uh, the same. We all are, are, uh, are, are given equal uh, rights and value, and that's something that we defend. So if you believe all those things, uh, then you believe that um, God is the one that allows people to be raised in authority. Uh, it, it must have been God's will then. Uh, that's my belief, right? Uh, but uh, I think that... that um, that a nation uh, makes a decision collectively because we're given uh, the free will to do that. And I think we're going to make a much better choice as a country coming up in this election cycle. We're very much looking forward to that regime change. We don't know exactly what the Senate has, um, has come up with because we've not seen the text. We're anxious to see the text of what they've done. Um, th there's a lot of, I think, thoughtful and deliberate discussion and debate that's gone into this. It's a complex issue. I don't think now is the time for comprehensive immigration reform because we know how complicated that is. You can't do that quickly. I do think it's past time to secure the border. We're not playing politics at this. We're demanding real transformative policy change because that's what the American people need and deserve and that they're demanding as well. House Republicans are standing on that line. I will tell the president that today. I've been saying it consistently since the moment I was handed this gavel, and that's never changed. The human catastrophe cannot be overstated. The border is a catastrophe, and it has to be addressed. And you're going to see House Republicans standing and fighting on that hill because it's important for the country. We have needed, we have requested publicly, privately, in every forum, answers to the critical questions. What is the end game <clears throat> and the strategy in Ukraine? How will we have accountability for the funds? Um, we, we need to know that Ukraine would not be another Afghanistan. And you see a lot of the American people having real, scratching their heads, having real questions about um, why that would continue without these appropriate answers. So I'm going to push for those. But before we even talk about Ukraine, I'm going to tell the president what I'm telling all of you and we've told the American people, border border, border. We have to take care of our own house. We have to secure our own border before we talk about doing anything else.